hello guys welcome to another react native tutorial today i'm going to show you how we can implement google maps to our react native app and to implement this i'm going to use this third party package called react native maps react native maps originally developed by airbnb but currently it is maintained by react native community so i'm going to implement this to our react native app Previously we have seen how we can design this login screen, how we can implement custom Google fonts to our React Native app and also we have seen that how we can implement that React Native navigation to our app. Okay, so if you haven't checked those videos, I would recommend you go and watch those videos because not only I have seen the implementation of those, also I have shown some bug fixes over there. So it is highly recommended you watch those videos. And in this app, today I'm going to implement this React Native Maps third party package. Okay, so if you like to watch this kind of tutorial, then hit the subscribe button and give this video a like so without wasting any more time let's get started so here is our app okay so in this app i'm going to implement the package so first let me check the documentation so over here we can see the docs folder so navigate to that and over there we can see that installation file so within this installation we can see the instructions to install the package so first of all we need to run this command on our project so over here I'm going to paste the command and hit enter so it will download and install the package to our react native app so the package has been added to our app over here as we can see and over here it is giving me npm update i will install that later so we have installed it and now what do we need to do currently i am going to skip this ios configuration first i am going to focus on android then i am going to implement this for ios okay so build configuration on android so i'm going to implement this on android first so over here it is telling us to define the react native maps so i have to copy these two lines and i need to add these two lines to my settings.gradle file so over here i'm going to android then there is a settings.gradle file and over here i'm going to paste those two lines so i saved the file then let's check it out the second step dependency we need to add this to app slash build dot gradle file okay so i am copying this line over here within the android folder within the app folder there is a build dot gradle file and over here i have to I have to copy this implementation project line okay so within these dependencies I am going to paste this okay so save this file and after that in your root build.gradle file we have to add this line so this build.gradle file is within the app folder but we need to go to the build.gradle file which is in the root folder of the android okay so over here we can see the file and let me check once ext so this thing so i am going to comment out these lines and after that i am going to paste this so over here compiled sdk version 26 26 so mean sdk version i'm going to copy over there and paste it okay so save the file and then what we need to do we can skip this as we have done this project wild configuration and now we need to implement 
this Google Maps API key to our Android manifest.xml file okay so I'm going to copy this metadata information over here and I have to go and check the Android manifest okay so Android manifest.xml is over here and within the application I need to paste this code and over here your Google Maps API key here we need to replace this string of text with our Google Maps API key okay so I'm going to put my API key over here you should use your own API key so after saving the Android manifest.xml file we need to implement this last step so over here it is telling us to implement these codes to our main application dot java file okay so I am copying this first line and over here I am going to our main application dot java file okay over here I have pasted it the maps package and after that we need to add this line only because these other lines will be already present on our main application dot java file okay see over here we have the other lines okay so i need to add that line only so i am putting a comma over here and adding the new maps package so save the file and close it okay so now i am closing all these files and after that we can see the implementation of maps to our react native app so over here on our project we need to implement it and i want to implement it on our detail screen okay so here is our detail screen on component screens there is details.js so over here i want to implement this map so for this i have to import react native maps so i am importing it and currently we don't require this provider underscore google so i have removed that and now within our view i'm going to add this map view okay so i'm going to copy all this code now i'm going to add this over here okay and i'm removing this provider google now over here the styles okay so i'm copying all these codes and adding this over here now save the file now before executing it first we need to close this metro bundler process okay and recompile the project again because whenever we add any third party package that time it is good to recompile our project so now i am going to compile this project for android platform so react native run android so now over here as we can see that google map is integrated to our app properly so currently it is on android and we haven't implemented it for ios okay so we need to implement it for ios platform also so android has been done successfully okay as we can see that we can back and forth on our screens and we can see google map is loaded over here properly so now for ios i'm going to check the documentation first so over here i'm going to use this using coco pods okay so for ios you need to install coco pods to your computer and then you can use this pod file to get started with the installation process okay so first of all i need to copy this codes and paste it to a new file called pod file okay so i'm copying these codes and i'm going over here and within this ios folder i'm going to create a file named pod file okay and over here i'm going to paste the pod file code okay and now i need to uncomment this line 
also over here these three lines okay if we are going to use this google maps on ios then we need to uncomment these three lines okay so i'm going to uncomment it and save it also another thing we need to do over here target your project target so over here we need to provide our project name which is my app okay so saving the file and now let's check it out then i have to run this command pod install okay so over here i need to run the command pod install but before that i need to navigate to the ios folder okay so i am clearing this i have to navigate to ios directory so currently i am in ios directory and over here i can run this command pod install okay so it has been installed successfully and we can ignore this yolo command and it is showing over here the pod installation is complete and please close any current xcode session use my app xc workspace for this project okay so we have to use this my app dot xc workspace file to work on our project okay so after that we need to enable google maps for ios okay so we have to open this xe workspace file and over there we will find app delegate.m file and over there we need to add these two lines this import and this gms services okay so i'm going to open the xe workspace file okay our project has been open on xcode so now I can go to my app and over here I can see that app delegate dot m file okay and over here I have to add this import line without this plus sign okay so over here I have added it and after that I have to add this GMS services provide api key and over here i have to provide my google maps api key and remember this line should be after the opening of this curly brace okay and over here you need to put your api key okay so i'm going to paste my api key over here you should provide your own okay so i have saved the file now let's check what else we need to do okay so now we need to do pod install again so over here i am running this pod install command once again okay so pod installation has been completed so now we need to check what else we need to do so i think we don't need to do anything right now so we can implement it and to implement it we need to add this we need to use this provider google and provider equal to provider google to our component okay so remember which we have removed previously so over here i'm going to close it out and within our details i'm using provider google and over here within the map view i have to use this line provider equal to provider google okay so i have tested it over here now save it and now check this on ios simulator okay so for this i need to go to the root directory of my project so right now over here i can compile this project for ios okay and before that I'm going to close this metro bundler UI process okay and recompile our project again
okay so our project has been compiled for ios also so now let's check it out so as you can see over here in ios also our app has been loaded google maps successfully okay so now you have learned how you can implement google maps to both the platform on android and ios also on react native okay so right now i'm going to show you some implementation of it okay but that has been already clearly mentioned on this github page so over here you can see the examples okay there are various kinds of interactive examples over here you can check this out and implement it by your own right now i am going to implement only map marker over here on our map okay so for this i am going to use these lines okay so over here on our map view i can paste this marker code over here and this marker is present on map view so i have to do map view dot marker and over here i can specify the coordinate so i'm going to specify the coordinate which is present over here you can customize it by your own coordinate this is just the default coordinate which i have copied from the documentation so title i'm giving some random title over here and the random description also over here so i have saved it now let's check it out on our ios simulator first so i'm going to reload it now click on login and over here we can see that map marker the map pin over here and if we click on it then we can see the title and description which just now i have implemented now let's check it out for android and over here it is showing hot reloading is not working so reload it once again okay so now click on login and over here our map has been loaded successfully and whenever we click on this map pin we can see our title and description is showing over there okay so it is working properly so this is it this is the tutorial guys if you like the tutorial then hit the like button and let me know by commenting down below and subscribe to my channel to get more this kind of tutorials from me i'm going to see you on my next tutorial and thank you for watching goodbye